River State has been in the news because of Wiki for the past couple of months, ever since the campaign started in the state. But this time around, it's a little bit different because it's still about Wiki anyway. Because there are still so they, there were some rumors that uh, Wiki bought INEC officials. He paid them. That was why uh, Peter Obi did not win in River State. There were also allegations of threats to life by the INE coalition officer in Port Harcourt. The woman said that her life was threatened. People were threatening her because they wanted her to announce a fake result, but she ended up announcing the real one anyway, which Labour Party won. But after that, there were also allegations that uh, the Labour Party escorts in River State then announced uh the pdp governorship candidate and by the way they have their own candidate who is a woman who has been trying to campaign in her own little way in the states they left their own candidate and decided to give their support to a pdp governorship candidate in the states there have been allegations that they are they were paid to do this by wiki but you know we were not there so we don't know for sure but obviously that is what you know <laughs> for them to be for them to do that it means that you know something's meetings and meetings have gone on underground you guys know how it goes in politics it goes to the isb there of course so the escrows have been dissolved and everything we have a little update on that but that will come later before we do so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do all to subscribe Turn on the post notification bell so that you will be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers. Then lastly, please and please leave your comment in the comment section. I love to hear from you. Without further ado, let's go right into the details of today's the former chairman of the Labour Party in River State, DNA Pepo, has challenged the dissolution of the River State executives of party by the national chairman of the party, Julius Abu. Pepo, who briefed journalists in Portacourt on Friday, said the dissolution of the River State executives by the national was not in line with his constitution. He claims that the issue is being handled by the National Working Committee of a party and therefore everything must remain status quo. Pepo insisted that he remains the chairman of a party in Rivers pending the decision of a disciplinary committee which is expected to be set up for proper investigation of him and the state executive. He said, and I quote, there was a purported rumor that the ESCO has been dissolved, so we want to debunk that. This is a political party. You don't dissolve ESCO by, by staying in one corner to write a small letter. Before an ESCO is dissolved, due process must be followed. Whatever happens in any state, there must be a disciplinary committee that will investigate the matter, which will now make recommendations to the National Working Committee for action. So you can't just wake up and say you have dissolved an ESCO. And only the National Chairman signed without the National Secretary signing, because the National Secretary knows that it is not the right process due process must be followed so the national working committee is handling the matter for now everything must maintain the status quo he said the labor party in river state does not have a governorship candidate that is ready to win an election which led to the endorsement of the candidate of the people's democratic party simina laye fabara he said the candidate who have is not we have is not ready to run an election. We can't be following someone that is heading to doom. No form of campaign, nothing. We sat down, we discussed with the state escrow 
and we saw that the right thing to be done is to endorse a candidate that can win the election. It happened in all your states. No ESCO was dissolved. Why will river states be different? In all your states, they adopted the seven governor in the state has their candidate. They have a gov a candidate too. We have a candidate that is not ready to run for an election. Let us not deceive ourselves, he said. Like, how are these people able to depict that she's not ready to run for an election? If you find out, if you dig deep, it's this statement only means one thing. It means that she wasn't dishing out money as she should. Like, she wasn't being flamboyant, you know, giving out money here and there, spending cash as if there is no tomorrow. I feel that is the reason behind this statement because we know how it goes in politics. You know, you must be able to dish out cash, give them money. If they don't get money from you, then they divert and support someone else. I feel that, you know, these people have not even also realized that Labour Party is not what it used to be. Like, Labour Party has evolved, you know, and it's fast rising. It's it's really f fast rising to becoming the main opposition party. But I feel that, you know, these people, in their mind, they are still in that era or in that time where you know labor party was just still a small very small political party and when it's close to election time although they have a candidate they just decide to you know support one of the two major political parties in the state just to so that they get a piece of the national cake so that you know they send one or two dollars or one or two million naira their way you know but mm, this is this is this is just not it even con especially considering the fact that uh, people are now voting for the election considering the results of the presidential election from the presidential election how labor party was how labor party performed these people should know that you know no matter what this woman this is their candidate that they have would would give would would give uh, the opposition party a very good fight. Would give them a run for their money. They should have just stuck with her, and you know know and see whatever comes out of it. But instead, they you know they diverted last minute. Or you all, let me know what you think in the comment section. You guys know I don't know much. I'm just keeping it real. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye for now.